Hey guys, it's the Chad, your C10 truck nerd. And today I want to talk to you about the old cow panels from a 67 to 72 Chevy or GMC truck. Well, these cow panels, they were pretty much universal over this six year period. So they would have fit your trucks, Suburbans, K5 Blazers, and Jimmies. The main reason these things were here were for aesthetics, but they were also designed to keep some of this big debris from falling down into the actual cow, causing the truck to rust from the inside out. Well, unfortunately, these little slots didn't really do anything, and it still allowed a bunch of leaves, sticks, and mud to get down in here, and it was almost impossible to get it back out unless you remove the panel. So how do you remove one of these panels? Well, you're gonna have to stick around to find out. So pulling one of these cow panels off isn't gonna be something that you're gonna be doing very often, but I still recommend you know how to do it just in case. The main reason I pull them off is to get all that debris that's stuck down in the cow there. If you're restoring a truck, you're probably gonna to have to pull it off to paint it, make some type of metal repairs, work on the windshield wiper motor, or even go through and change one of these AC flappers. Now swapping one of these out, you can do by yourself, but if you have a nice paint job on your truck, I always recommend you have two sets of hands. That way you don't accidentally scratch the hood, the door, or the fender when you take it off. You might grab an old blanket or some old bath towels. That way you can cover up anything that might get scratched. After that, you're gonna need a pencil, a Phillips head screwdriver, a ratchet with a half inch socket on it, and one of these uh, handy dandy windshield wiper arm removal tools. If you don't have one of these or know how to use it, make sure you check out this video. First thing I do is go through and put a pencil mark on the actual wiper arm that lines up with the cowl. That way when I go to reinstall the wiper arms, I have them in the right position. If you grab your wiper arm tool, slide it on here, and wiggle the arm right off. Earlier I told you most of these cow panels were pretty much universal, but every once in a while you'd find one that didn't have a cutout for the AM or the AM FM radio hole because it might have been a radio delete. If yours does have one of these, go ahead and remove the antenna now and any of the hold down or mounting bolts. Take that all off and discard it. That way it's going to be loose now. That way we don't have to fight it once we've started to pull the cow off. So once you get the antenna out, the next thing you need to do is pop the hood, or in my case, I'm just gonna have to remove it because I don't have any hood hinges, so here we go. It's perfectly safe to do by yourself. Oh shoot, don't mind that pain over there. like a glove. So now that we have the hood open, or in my case, the hood off, you can see all the different securement points. Here on the front side of the cowl panel, we're gonna have six Phillip head screws going all the way across. And then you're gonna have another four more at the top. Then we're gonna have another four half inch bolts. We're gonna have one here vertically on each side. And you're gonna have to open the door to see there's two more, one on each side that go in horizontally. Now, once we start to pull those out, I recommend that you get one of those magnetic bowls so you don't drop anything down into the cow or put it in a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to start off removing all 10 of the screws first. And I like to use a handheld screwdriver versus some type of electric one because I like to feel how much tension is actually on these screws. If you do feel that you have some tension, just grab some WD-40 or lubricant, spray it on there and let it soak for a while because the last thing you want to do is strip one of these heads or snap one off into the cow. Then you got a real problem. Cottonwoods, gotta love them. No, you don't. You also get a vacuum your AC out around here about every 10 minutes, so that's fun. So once we get all 10 of the screws out and all four of the bolts, we can go through and get ready to start pulling this off. But you need to be careful because under these bolts might be some shims, and those shims are to help align this panel to match up with the fender and the hood. So you do need to be careful that you don't drop any of these. I would go through and almost take a picture. That way you know how many shims were at each location. That way when you go back to reinstall it, 
you get it in the same spots. So everything's out now, so we can go through and remove this. Like I said, this isn't a bad idea to have two people do this because you do have to get it over the spline shafts. You don't wanna be scratching your A-pillar, your doors, fenders, any of that stuff as it comes up. But if you're not concerned about your paint or anything like me, you can just fight it and you're done. So once we get the cowl panel off, you can actually see that there is a gasket or a seal right here. I would inspect this thoroughly. If it's bad like a, yeah, that, you definitely need to order a new one before you reinstall it. But if it looks pretty good, just throw it out in the driveway so it gets kind of pliable and you can reinstall it again. So now that we've got the cowl panel off, look how ineffective it truly is. This is just packed full of sticks, leaves, and debris for years, and it has pretty much ruined this truck. If you look right there, that's where the windshield wiper motor mount should be, but it's completely rotted and it's fallen off into the truck. So I do ask you guys to peek down in these cowl openings every once in a while, make sure it's clear. If it's not, pull the panel off, vacuum it, pull it all out, and put some water down it. That way, at least you're getting this part clean and you're cleaning the fresh air buckets out that are down here. You might need to make sure that those drains are clear as well. Once you guys get your cowl all cleaned and washed up, it's time to do a good inspection. What I'd be looking for is any type of rust holes that need to be repaired. I also look over here where the antenna cable goes into the cab. There should be some type of sealant, but over the 50 plus years, this can fail and water can penetrate right into the truck. And since we've been fiddling around here so much with the cowl, make sure your windshield washer hoses are still connected to the jets. We don't want to do all this work and then put the cowl panel back on and then realize, whoops, that sucks. If your guys' truck looks anything like this one where the cow was just packed full of leaf sticks and debris, I highly encourage you guys to go out and buy one of these cow opening shields or guards. You can pick them up at LMC Truck, Classic Parts, or Brothers. These things are great because none of that big or small debris can get through the cow panel slots anymore, but it does allow rain or water to penetrate through. And that's nice in case there's any dirt or mud down here. It can continue just to wash out through the fresh air buckets. Some of the biggest killers of the old 67 to 72 is when all this trash gets in here and it starts eating that cab from the inside out. And a lot of times it just ruins them. Now, if you guys do decide to go through and put one of these shields or guards on, You'll install it first, and then we'll go through and put everything back together in the reverse order, then we took it apart. Well, I hope this C10 truck nerd taught you everything you needed to know about the cowl panels on a 67 to 72 Chevy or GMC truck. If you picked anything up, hopefully it's to start inspecting the cowl openings for any trash or debris. If you find any, please clean it out. If not, there's no way these trucks are going to last another 50 plus years. If you guys got any cool tips and tricks about these cowl panels, type it down in the little clickety-clack. And while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe. And make sure you check out my other 67 to 72 videos. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.